Hello friends, welcome to this project. Today I will show you how to control a 220V bulb using ESP32. We will use two methods, Bluetooth from mobile and voice commands using Gravity Offline Voice Recognition Sensor. This is a DIY smart home automation project that works without internet. So let's start. You're welcome to use the voice recognition assistant. Turn off the light. Okay. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay. Turn on the light. Okay. You can also control this bulb from your mobile phone using Bluetooth connection. Just open your Bluetooth app and send the command to turn the bulb on or off. So watch this video till the end. I will explain the code, the circuit diagram, and each step in full detail. First, we will take two breadboards. After that, we will place the ESP32 board on the breadboard, like this. Make sure the pins are properly inserted into the breadboard holes. After that, we will take a 5V2 channel relay module. But in this project, we will use only one relay. If you want, you can also use a single channel relay module instead. Now we will take the Gravity Offline Language Learning Voice Recognition Sensor. This sensor can recognize voice commands without needing internet or cloud. It supports multiple commands, works offline, and responds very fast for smart home projects. This sensor has two small microphones. These mics help the module listen to your voice commands clearly, even from a short distance. They make the voice detection more accurate and fast. And a small black part of this module is its internal speaker. The speaker gives feedback sounds when the sensor recognizes a command. This helps you know that your voice command was received. This module supports two types of communication, UART and I2C. UART means it sends data serially through TX and RX pins. I2C is another method, but for this project we use UART because it's simple for voice commands with ESP32. So, you need to keep this switch on UART mode. And next to it, there's another switch, it says Speaker 1 and Speaker 2. This means if you keep it on Speaker 1, the feedback voice will come from the built-in small speaker. But if you want louder feedback sound, you can move the switch to Speaker 2. Here, you can connect an external speaker for louder sound. Now we will make the connections. First, connect the GND pin of the Gravity Voice module to the ground line of the breadboard. Then connect the VCC pin of the Gravity module to the 5V line of the breadboard. After that, connect the TX pin of the Gravity module to the RX pin 16 of the ESP32. And connect the RX pin of the Gravity module to the TX pin 17 of the ESP32. Now let's connect the relay module. Connect the GND pin of the relay module to the ground line of the breadboard. Connect the VCC pin of the relay module to the 5V line of the breadboard. And connect the IN pin of the relay module to pin D23 of the ESP32 board. Now our connection is complete. Next, let's open the DF Robot page. I'll give you the link in my video description. When you open that link, the DF Robot page will appear. If you want to order this voice module, you can easily order it from there. When you scroll down the DF Robot page, you will see Command Words List. Click on it, and a new page will open. At the top, it says Wake Up Words. These are the words that activate the module. The default wake up word is Hello Robot. You can change this word if you want, but for this project, we'll keep it as it is. If you want to learn how to change it, I already made a video where I used the same sensor with Arduino Uno. You can watch that video too. This module also lets you add 21 custom commands, and it has more than 100 built-in fixed commands. In this project, we will use two fixed commands, turn on the light and turn off the light. You will see that next to each command, a number code is written. 
For example, turn on the light has the code 103 and turn off the light has the code 104. You need to use these numbers in your code. When I open the code, you can see it says, if voice command is 104, then relay turns high. This means the light turns on. If voice command is 103, then relay turns low. This means the light turns off. So whatever command you want to use, just take its number and write it in your code. After that, go to the Tools menu. Select your board, in this case, ESP32 Dev Module. Then select the correct port. Once that is done, click on the Upload button. Your code will start uploading to the ESP32 board. After uploading the code, open Play Store on your mobile. In the search bar, type Arduino Bluetooth Control. Then select the app with the Arduino logo. I have already installed it, so it shows open here, but you will need to install it. After that, go back to your mobile screen and turn on Bluetooth. Pair your mobile with ESP32. Now it's ready. You can control the bulb from your mobile too. We have connected 5V from the buck converter to the breadboard power line. Now let's see the demo. When I say the command turn on the light, the relay will turn on and the bulb will light up. When I say turn off the light, the relay will turn off and the bulb will switch off. You can also control this bulb using your phone through Bluetooth. If you like this video, please give it a like and if you have any questions, tell me in the comments. Thank you. Welcome to use the voice recognition assistant. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn off the light. Okay. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay.